First, I'm going to start this video by saying this is not a paid promotion video. This is solely me doing this to help you guys to have an easier setup than I did. That's it. Hey, so what's up, y'all? So, you know, my wife wanted to start her weight loss journey. And, you know, we got three beautiful children. So getting to the gym is definitely hard for her. So I've been doing research for months now. And I was torn in, in between Rich Fit and Major Ludi. So what I did, eventually got the Major Ludi PLM03. It came in multiple packages. In different days. Which is fine. I understand with the weight and everything. They had to break up the packages and stuff. So the packages got numbers on it. One, two, three. There's three major, and, okay, so this one doesn't have any number. And then the plates came by itself. These came together, right? 35 pounds. And the 10 and 25 came packaged together. And then here's a 45 pound plate. But all the major stuff got numbers on it, so now we're gonna try and tackle assembly. Now we're about to open the packages. Hi. Hi, Ariel. <laughs> but to keep a bit of uniformity, I'm gonna keep the, the, the equipments in the specific boxes. But I'm gonna open everything so I have access, all right? As I said before, I'm gonna keep everything in this specific box. This is box one, the cage. This look like the bar inside. Different attachments right here. Box two. And then this is box three right here. Package is a bit damaged, but kind of expected that. And then this is the bench. I don't know how I missed that but this is the bench I came with it. So for step one, you need four pieces. One, two, three, four. All of them are labeled. You just got to look at the bottom, except this one is piece K, right? And they're, they're in different boxes. So as the instruction right here, it's labeled underneath the bottom. And for step one, you need four bolts, use the washers, and then the nuts as well. So if you look on the back side like this, it will be, it will be um, labeled, except for like a small K piece right there. All right, so we had to flip this around because how I was looking at it was the wrong way. So you have to set it up like you're inside the cage doing a squat or whatever, which is my left will be your right, my right, your left, okay? Especially because now we put up the uprights, all right? The K is gonna be on the back left side. Again, facing me, my left will be your right, okay? On the K side, you're gonna have the even numbers, which is two and four for the upright. And then on the other side, you have three in the back and then one, all right? So pretty much this is what you're gonna be doing for step two. There are some triangular plates, okay? You put two on each side. It's gonna support this with the bolts right there. All right, key thing to pay, pay attention for, at the front, the notch is gonna be like this, right? Then when you go to the back, there's two notches that should face the outside. One here, and there's gonna be one over there. But a notch should be on the outside, all right? So just pay attention to when you're installing step two. Okay, 
So the other part of step two is to get these um, part of the pulley system on. So this is adjustable right here. So you open it all the way and you just slide it over the top with this piece facing inwards. Go over. There we go. So when you slide it down, you're just gonna cover this first hole right here because this notches into here. So you get it down to there. Tighten. I took this all the way out, which I shouldn't have. Anyways. Get into that groove. And tighten all the way. All the way. See? Secure. Now this is R1, R2 is over there, right? You're gonna take this off. Take this off. Pull the bolt out. Come on now. Technical difficulty. Just be gentle. And you're gonna slip this in here and go from the top to secure. Put the washer on. And then put the nut out. And this completes step two. This is it for step two. Okay, so now it's step three. Uh, four pieces, shock absorber. This is the piece right here. Little. And these two holes, if you call it that. But yeah. Get so, to it. Shock absorber over the hole. Like so. so this is gonna sit on top. Like so. And those two things are gonna come through here. That will be step three. Now we're getting ready to do now we're getting ready to do step four. As you can see all the pieces right here. You need D1, D2, C, F, V. Yeah, that's about it. And E. Definitely need E. So I might have to set this up and then talk through it because I think this is the most lengthy portion we have before like the whole pulley system I have to go through, but I'll check back in and explain what we're doing. So Again, if you're facing the cage, it's gonna be your right side. But if you're looking out, it's gonna be your left. So this is D2, right? There's a little notch right here. That's where you're gonna put the pulley, right in that notch. Then you're gonna get two of these to secure it. One on the outside, one on the inside. Hand tighten everything before you bolt everything down, okay? Same thing you do here. Now we're gonna have to go over this side and do the same thing. Pulling the notch, plate, plate like this, okay? One on this side, one on this side. Hang tighten for now, okay? So next I install E, which is the, you know, the little pull-up station. So there's holes on both sides. And you just put it over, it sits in. Sits in right there, let a little C. Just put the, the bolts in with the washers and the nut. And you do it on both sides. And again, I hand tighten everything for now before bolting down, all right? So I'll move on to the next piece right there. And look who we employed, my beautiful daughter. What you doing, Mars? No, you no. gotta do one per baby. Do it just like how you did these ones. Just like you saw this part. You just gotta undo this right here. Unscrew it. Because it's just gonna sit on, the, on those poles on the back. You see, when we install these, there's holes right here. Okay? And these gotta stay up top. Because once you put this on, this sits right in there.
All right, there it is. So I had a little bit of struggle leaving this in a little bit. So take it out completely. Let it sit on it, right? And you, you put it in. Then again, on each side, there's gonna be two holes. Washer, uh, the bolt, and nut on both sides. Again, um, right here to secure this into place. So now, this is what we have so far. So we did the border on the top of the cage, right there. I haven't tightened anything up top again. Everything is hand tightened. And then once I get everything in, I'll go ahead and secure it down. Okay, so this piece right here is F, right? It comes with the bracket, I think it's Z, all right? So you put the brackets here, you get it in, and then with Y, it's gonna be on the outside. Because once you screw it in, now when we put it up, it's gonna look like this. And this, uh, this is gonna sit in right here at the top. Right there. So it's gonna sit like so. On both sides. Right here. And this is the last piece for step four. So for step five, you're just pretty much putting these accessories here. You know, it's going to be for your feet right there. Goes like that. Give those. Just pretty much adding the small stuff. That's pretty much it. Step five is pretty easy. So yeah, step five, you know, put these stuff into place. This right here, same in the back. Put this on. You're gonna have to take out this screw right here, right? And then when you put this here, then you attach it back. And then this foot piece, that's it for step five. And then again, there's four of these of these put on the other side with the pins to lock it into place now it's six where we have to route the wire for the pulley so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a little bit of silic silicone silicone whatever that is to like grease the tracks a bit I I didn't get it from Major Ludi so I'm gonna use my own and just grease it a bit so I can have a smooth pull whenever I start working out. Okay guys, so the pulley part is the most difficult because the instruction doesn't help at all. Um, so this part is two different things, okay? There's gonna be two different set of wires. So the two small ones, you're gonna run right here on the bottom piece. This part right here, you're gonna have to undo this um, this bolt because on this wire, it has this little round loop right here that cannot go underneath. So you're gonna have to attach it here with the bolt, one of, one of the short bolt, right? You attach this here first, then you run it up and run it through the middle, then down. Now, you're gonna have to remove that, run it underneath it, tighten, run it through the bottom here, and then you're gonna have to undo this piece again to run it underneath. It comes all the way up, and then you just secure it on the back, okay? So now you're gonna do that for both sides. Another interesting part, this, this is gonna be the long piece, right? 
So for the long piece, you're gonna run it through here, through the middle, up on the top, right? You're gonna, so before that, this right here, you're gonna have to unscrew this, unscrew it and take out the, the piece that's in, in here. Take this off so you can run uh, the pulley system properly. So again, after you do that first step to take it off, run it through the middle, take one end, run it up on top. You're gonna run it on top. Now you're gonna keep it over the top, all the way down. Then you're gonna come inside of here, right here, as you can see. Come inside here, then you take it through the middle from the back here. So now right here, that's where you're gonna push that little metal piece back inside of here and secure it with both. And that's how you do that side. Now you're gonna repeat the same thing, right? But remember, this part, when you see this part, this is gonna be one long piece, all right? So now, the other end, you're gonna take it here, run it all the way up, go through here, run it on top, you see right here? You're gonna run it on top, come down through the middle, right here, down through the middle. You're gonna loop it under here, come up, back right on the middle I'll fix that afterwards so just make sure it's on, it's on the track so after you run it over there it's gonna be on top it's gonna be on top you come down loop it under the other side come up all the way now you're gonna keep it on top you're gonna keep it on top right here so run it on top, same thing again. After you run it on top, you're gonna come down through here, run it through the middle from the back, and then you attach this part again. My hand is a bit oily because I use silicone. It's actually silicone. This is the one I used to give it some lube. It came with my treadmill. So if you wanna get some of this, just to have the track running smoothly, you can go ahead and do so. But this is the setup. So it took us about five hours because I was trying to make this video. And of course I had the girls um, around distracting me as well. Well, my daughters. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, share, like, comment if you have any questions i'm willing to answer everything and until next time